Using Animate CC, we can adapt our existing projects for various additional screen dimensions through the interface. Let's have a look at how to convert this widescreen project to better fit a mobile device resolution. At the moment, we can tell in the Properties panel that this is a 1280 by 720 animation, which works fine for desktop, but maybe we need to adapt this to some mobile dimensions. There's two ways to go about doing this. One way is to go through and scale our content. And using scale content, we can go ahead and change this to something like 640 in width. And the height will automatically adapt. And as you can see, it retains the aspect ratio. If I recenter this, fit in window, we can see that it looks exactly the same because all these assets have been drawn with vectors. However, we can also untick scale content, and then we have the ability to unlink both width and height. Then perhaps we want to change this to 640 by 960. If we fit in window now, we can see that it's very different in terms of how things are laid out. We'll go ahead and unlock all of these layers. Go back to like the first frame here and actually select the different objects we might want to reposition and then just pull them down to exactly where we would want them. So now we've got the hippo and the land down below and we have the sky with the moon and the clouds up above. We can even go ahead and scale these particular objects using the free transform tool and reposition them as so. All right, let's undo that and go back to the previous state of our project. And note that there's also an additional way to scale the content while pinning or anchoring content as it's scaled. So the way we do this is to go into advanced settings through the properties panel. And here, if we choose to change this from 1280 to 720, to 640 to 960 once again. You'll notice that we also have the ability to pin or anchor content. Now, if you choose to scale content, the anchors become disabled. So make sure you're not scaling your content and then just pin it. So I'm gonna pin to the lower right here and then hit okay. All right, let's go ahead and fit in window and we'll clip content outside the stage to see exactly how that looks. As you can see, there are a number of good approaches to resizing and adapting content to various stage sizes.